Hi, everybody. This is Zen Honeycutt of Moms Across America, and I am recording this to give you some very disturbing breaking news that we have released today. We have published an article showing that glyphosate weed killer has been found in all five of the major orange juice brands that we tested. Yes, all of them. And I will get to the report in just a minute and show you which brands and how much was in there. Um, but first, I just want to address, you know, how is glyphosate getting into our orange juice and why are these levels not safe? Okay, so first of all, how glyphosate's getting it into orange juice is, um, you know, it's confusing at first because oranges are not GMO, right? So they're not sprayed with glyphosate, which is Roundup, mostly Roundup brands of herbicide consistently throughout the growing process. Uh, because they're not genetically modified to withstand Roundup. Uh, they're also not sprayed with glyphosate herbicides as a drying agent like wheat and beans and legumes and tea and peas and um, sugar are. All right, so how is it getting there? Well, it's much like the wine incidents. They are being it's sprayed on the ground in between the trees to prevent weed growth, um, which the farmers report compete for water with the trees. And so they use Roundup in between the trees to prevent weed growth. And then the glyphosate is taken up into the tree trunks and into the trees and uh, ends up in our orange juice. It's also in the irrigation water and it's also in rain. So this is why glyphosate must be banned because if it's getting into the orange juice, you know, through the irrigation water and the rain, then that means it's contaminating everything uh, that is grown in the United States that's not in a greenhouse, right? So, um, or is, you know, the irrigation water is being used. So very important to uh, revoke the license of glyphosate and the EPA number is 703-308-8187 um, to call the EPA and ask them to revoke the license of glyphosate. They are, um, they are considering this in the EU right now. There are hearings right now about glyphosate and the renewal of the license happening right now, but there's a very real chance in Europe that they may ban it, so why not here? We need to ask for a glyphosate ban here in the US. We need to insist on it. We need to protect our citizens and our children and our children who are the most vulnerable, according to the Academy of, of Pediatrics, the American Academy of Pediatrics, the children, our children are most vulnerable and we know orange juice is one of their top favorite drinks in the morning, right? So this is very important for our children and our families. So glyphosate's getting into orange juice through the irrigation water, uh, the soil uptake, you know, glyphosate in the soil uptake and um, through rain. And it's very important that farmers switch to organic regenerative agriculture. Now, why are these levels not safe? I'm gonna share um, a report with you so that you can see a little bit better um, why glyphosate levels are not safe. And um, we will, you know, review this. So on the report on Moms Across America, Org. You can see glyphosate found in all major uh, orange juice brands. We tested five of them. We tested two samples of each. No, we did not test organic at this time. We focused on the most widely consumed orange juices and organic is not uh, one of the most widely consumed orange juice brands. So we focused on the most widely used consumed ones and you can see here um, which ones are, which ones were um, tested. The number one brand was Tropicana, which is owned by, I'm just gonna scroll down here for a second, which is owned by PepsiCo. Um, by the way, we sent letters to all of these um, companies and requested that they respond to us and that they encourage their um, growers to go organic. And we only got responses back from one, which was Costco, their Kirkland brand. And they just said, well, our consumers can choose our organic brand. So no one responded to us that they would actually make any effort to encourage their growers to uh, switch to organic, nor did anyone express any concern about glyphosate being in orange juice, despite the fact that the World Health Organization deemed it a probable carcinogen over two and a half years ago in 2015. And uh, this is very important that they actually start to acknowledge that there's a problem and encourage their growers to switch over. So here's the brands, Tropicana, 
the highest level, 26 parts per billion. This was sold at Target, but Tropicana is owned by, um, I believe, PepsiCo. And so we contacted them, did not get a response. Minute Maid, it was sold at Jack in the Box and Minute Maid is owned by Coca-Cola and no response from them. Now, these levels, 26 parts per billion, 13, four, six, five, again, five parts per billion in, in uh, Stater Brothers Signature Farms and Kirkland Brands, sold at Stater, uh, yeah, Stater Brothers, Vons, and Costco. These levels are very concerning because look at this. In January of 2017, a study was published which proved that the chronic consumption of low levels of Roundup, which contains glyphosate, caused fatty liver disease in animals. Only 0.1 parts per billion, 0.1 parts per billion, uh, which is the equivalent of four nanograms, which is equivalent, again, of four Parts per billigram, uh, parts per billion per kilogram of body weight daily intake was confirmed to cause liver dysfunction. All of these levels are above the four parts per billion, right? And so um, this this is very important. Now you you have to break this down to um, parts per billion per nanogram per kilogram, right? So people would be consuming less um, it per per kilogram, right? Um, which is you know dispersed throughout the body weight. But the, the important thing to know is that glyphosate bioaccumulates. And so you cannot say that any level is safe actually, because as soon as it starts bioaccumulating, it starts causing harm. It bioaccumulates in the bone marrow and in the tendons, it builds up in the tissues. It's been found in breast milk, um, despite the opposition saying that it's not, it has been found in breast milk. And um, you know this, so this is extremely important. Earlier studies have also demonstrated that Roundup is an endocrine disrupting uh, chemical, and that means it can halt or harm the um, development of a fetus. It can also lead to anencephaly. This link goes to a new study out by Stephanie Seneff and uh, one of her partners showing that glyphosate can be linked to anencephaly, which is a small or missing brain, uh, which was uh, connected to, we believe connected to, or could be connected to all this uh, Zika virus nonsense about, you know, that have, you know, being connected to anencephaly. We just, we don't believe that. So the, um, the other thing is that glyphosate is, um, what it does, one thing that it does is it can break down, glyphosate herbicides can break down the blood brain barrier and allow toxins into the brain and heavy metals, you know, just this, things that are in the body that normally wouldn't pass through that blood brain barrier. And um, I'll explain this map in a second, but one thing that is used in orange juice growing is copper. It's often used to kill um, bacteria in the cit citrus industry. And copper is also a toxic spermicide. And it's so effective, it's commonly used in IUDs, right? I know a lot of women who have copper IUDs. And that means that uh, the egg, you know, can't implant and it, and it can be toxic to sperm. So um, by allowing glyphosate to be sprayed on oranges and other crops, we increase the potential impact of copper and its contribution to the rapid decline of sperm quality and sterilization in America. Um, we have studies that show that, that that's actually um, there are st the, the, the sterile sorry the sterilization rates have increased 59 percent. I just noticed I don't have those links in this report, so I will definitely put those in. Um, it shows actually that the sterilization of American men has increased like 59 percent over the past couple of decades. And uh, in China and Africa, many different places around the world, they've got somewhere between six to 20 years left of being able to reproduce naturally without in virtual fetalization. And in virtual fetalization, you know, which is where you get, have to get pregnant in a lab, can cost anywhere from ten to $40,000 per procedure. So that means that only the elite will be able to get pregnant and um, procreate. And, and, and that is a, a very devastating uh, future to consider. So back to this map, this map shows that in Florida, which is, you know, the, a, a mecca for growing citrus in the United States, is, um, is being inundated by glyphosate. Over 3.5 million pounds per square mile of glyphosate are being, um, have been distributed throughout Florida in these dark red areas over a 12-year period. And then this other one is 1.75 parts per million to 3.5 um, uh, not 1.7, 1.7 um, 
one point one sorry one point seven five million pounds to three point five million pounds per square mile um, have been distributed or sprayed in these other areas in the bright red and then in the pink it's anywhere between three hundred and fifty to one point seven five million pounds per square mile so this is this part of Florida is being inundated by glyphosate and that means that not just the human beings and their water are being impacted but the fish the birds the wildlife um, and the soil the water quality is is all being impacted so um, I hope you will take a look at this report um, it also addresses that you know conventional citrus growers often insist that harsh chemical herbicides are necessary to main maintain crop production and to prevent um, competition for, for water between weeds and the orange trees. However, Dr. Don Huber, a professor at Purdue University, a farmer educator and a plant pathologist with 50 years of experience, has stated that this is untrue, that in fact, um, that the water usage is increased by using glyphosate right here. Water's use, water use efficiency is is reduced here by 50%, meaning you know it's also usage has to be increased by 50%, so it takes twice as much water. Um, citrus growers who, who use glyphosate herbicides were more likely to lose, to lose trees from disease. It increases disease, it decreases the nutrient availability, and, um, and impacts the productivity of the orange trees. In fact, uh, farmer educator Bob Strait added that in reality, citrus production is down by over 50% from 10 years ago due to the irrigation water being polluted by the pesticides. And the chelating effect, which means it holds or makes unavailable the vital nutrients of any living thing it touches, is so weakened, uh, weakens the trees so much that they're being killed by bacteria. So in fact, um, releasing this information and encouraging um, the citrus growers to switch to organic regenerative agriculture could actually save their uh, the industry if if they make a concerted effort to make these changes and to um, go with the organic regenerative agriculture that is so successfully used by by many different farmers of many different crops so um, once again, you know, I just want to address in here that letters were sent to the CEOs and the board members. There's a, there's a link to the letter here. And, uh, you know, we, we, we tried um, very hard to have discussions with people about this, but it was not, uh, was not to be. So we hope that they will make an effort to actually um, switch over to encourage their growers to grow organic. And we will celebrate them. We absolutely will. We will make a big deal about any citrus grower that goes organic and um, encourage people to support their products because that's what we want. We want widespread distribution of organic. We want happy, healthy, organic people all across the country that are able to have healthy families. And so, you know, this is important. So what, if you want to do something about this, we have the phone numbers here for Tropicana, for Minute Maid, for Stater Brothers, Bonds, and Costco. Um, and, and listen, we know that it's not likely that our administration um, will revoke the license of glyphosate, but they need to. This is just what needs to happen because as millions of Europeans and global citizens have requested, it's a necessary step to take um, to protect humans in our, in our environment. And we understand also that it's a big request to ask farmers to switch to organic, re organic regenerative farming. However, we have faith in our farmers. We know that they can do it. They're ingenious and we beseech them for the sake of their families, for, for the, of the farm workers and public health to make that switch. So uh, we will definitely celebrate and support those that, that do. So if you can take a few minutes today, please to call uh, Neil Anderson at the EPA. He's the Pesticide Review Board Branch Manager and uh, make that request that they revoke the license of glyphosate immediately and also to contact these um, companies and, and uh, ask them to switch. Please spread this far and wide. It's absolutely unacceptable that in the mornings, uh, you know, in the mornings when our children are drinking a glass of orange juice, that they could um, have their reproductive organs harmed, um, it, you know, their brain. Glyphosate's a neurotoxin. Uh, it impacts the uh, reproductive organs. Again, I mentioned it's a chelator. It draws out the vital nutrients out of their body. I mean, this is, you, come on, this is ridiculous. And it's also been deemed a carcinogen, you know, so um, this has to be stopped and we, we have to protect our children. So please share this video, share the blog, share the information, ask your um, 
senators, and if you if you can also, I did put the numbers up there, but ask your senators and your congressmen to put pressure on the EPA to revoke the license of glyphosate and all toxic chemicals. Listen, we don't want them to start using dicamba, you know, and which is been banned in many states now because they're not using glyphosate. We don't want them to use paraquat and atrazine. We want them to stop toxic chemical farming altogether, and we want uh, organic regenerative agriculture. So thank you very much for your help. Please go to momsacrossamerica.org, support us, share our blogs, um, volunteer, get involved, speak up, and share with your friends and family nicely, okay? Nicely, share with them nicely. Just say, you know, I don't know if you knew about this, but I just found out about this. I'm really concerned. And, you know, just share with them gently and nicely. If they disagree with you, it's just because they don't know the information you know yet. It's very important that we give them the information in a nice and gentle, kind way and encourage them to do whatever they can uh, to switch to organic. Because the fact is, is that organic is cheaper than doctor's bills. Um, there's there's a lot of evidence showing a lot of harm from glyphosate, and it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it to go organic. So please do. Thank you so much, everybody, for sharing. Take care and bye-bye.